denizens of the interwebs. This is Double V, and welcome back to Neverwinter. I'd like to talk about something that is little known right now, but to me is pretty important, and that is the fact that somebody has come out with a ACT plugin for Neverwinter. Now, what is ACT? Well, it's this. Let me pull it up. The Advanced Combat Tracker is a combat log parser, and that's going to give you all kinds of information about what's been happening in your battles. It will also do it in real time if you um, make it into an overlay or have another monitor that you can look at it on. Now, I use another monitor, so I don't have the overlay, but we can just look at it here like this. Now, during and after a battle, it's going to tell you your DPS, your healing per second, damage taken, all kinds of information. There's more uh, types of information you can pull up as well if you want. So how do you get this to work? Well, first you go to the Advanced Combat Tracker website and download ACT, and uh, that's easy enough to find. What's not that easy to find is the plugin for Neverwinter. It's found on a German forum on engine.com it may be somebody's guild website I don't really remember but the website itself is linked in the description and that page should look like this let me see if I can pull it out oh come on now there we go that page should look like this you're gonna click right here and download it and once you've downloaded the plugin let me get rid of this you need to locate it first open up act and find the plugins thing browse to it right here wherever you downloaded the plugin I put it right in the act folder there it is neverwinter.cs and then add and enable the plugin and it should show up here just like this with the checkbox enabled and then you can go down to options and at the bottom you'll see neverwinter you can look at these few options that it does have and tweak it to your liking and then you need to link your combat log which is found in your Neverwinter directory under the folder logs. Let's see if we can just find that real quick so nobody gets confused. You go to import export. Oh no you don't. Excuse me. That part, you, I mean you can import logs but what you want to do if you want it to be real time and consistently give you information is do it right here under options miscellaneous and then you click the open log button when you click the open log button it's going to ask you where the hell is your combat log at man what happened to that thing so in this case it's under cryptic studios never went to live logs game client combat log right there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now once you've done all that you will see information coming in that looks much like this. I can see some other people around me are fighting, so we got stuff going on. Some of these doing 55 DPS over the last 16 seconds. That's not very good. They're level 27. In my opinion, they should be doing more DPS than that. The character I'm on right now is level 20, what, 6? And does about 1,000 DPS, just to uh, give you a comparison there. But anyway, that's how you do it. It's very useful. I've actually used it to tweak a lot of things and find out a lot of things about the stats in this game. And I'll talk about the stats more in another video when I will not only use my parsing results, but go the extra mile and make a spreadsheet about it. And we'll talk about the spreadsheet and I'll upload it and all that. But for Right now, you can use the parser to help you iron out your DPS and find out what kind of gear you want to wear. And I would recommend doing so. So until next time, double V out.